The second one is how dangerous is AI? Uh, this is uh, uh, a real problem. In my view, it is uh, much exaggerated in, in some, some, some areas and uh, uh, completely, completely neglected in another area. And uh, I was surprised when preparing this talk for this uh, 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 question to see that among the dangers, the major dangers, you, you do a, a, a not, not a chat with, uh, before mobility uh, search, a, a real one, and, and, and ask about what are the dangers of uh, AI. Do you know what, what danger almost is never cited? And in my view, is the most the most dangerous one. What of the effects of AI is extremely extremely dangerous, and it doesn't is not discussed. Military application. You see, uh, you, if you have wa watched a little bit how the war in Ukraine has evolved in a year and, and a half. It started with a kinetic and, and normal type of, of, uh, of destroying things and humans. And nowadays, nowadays it's about 40% AI, drones and, and, and things, uh, all, all, all sorts of uh, uh, arms which are unmade. You know, they are, they are uh, um, program to do it. People can, can you know, still, uh, you, you know, work on them and then they can, you know, change trajectories. But uh, uh, everything here is basically behind this, this AI. And nobody, nobody, nobody talks about this danger. What do you think it will be the reason? I could give my own reason. Yeah, yeah. Oh, you, you have a reason too, not to talk about this. Yeah, I have a reason not to talk about <laughs> uh, I don't think people know where that's going. I mean, it could go to just removing humans from war, and then you have machines fighting machines and attacking factories and attacking control centers, and not, not really necessarily eradicating large populations of humans. Yeah, but, uh, yeah, okay, so, so, uh, so you think that this, this is not that dangerous, if I understand correctly? I, okay. I, think, I think the danger comes when they can do research and development and manufacturing and logistics, and that is military, and that's, that's going to be... No, but I, I was saying, I was saying about, the, you know, the use of AI in, 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 in producing all sorts of new types of arms. And then, then uh, these ones start to, to, to replace the conventional ones. So in, in Ukraine, we have seen <clears throat> very little high-level high AI. I mean, most of them have been um, controlled by humans or doing waypoint missions. They're not doing massive swarm, you know, drone swarms, which is, you know, the US has been researching drone swarms, and so is Russia and so on. But we haven't seen that kind of technology being used in in anger and Ukraine, which is, t to me, that's interesting, because we know that they have the technologies and it's not being deployed on the wolf on the battlefield yet. Yeah, this would be. Me, uh, yeah, I, 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 I'm not, uh, you know, uh, knowledgeable about this, but uh, uh, this may be just the beginning. Uh, 